Okay, so now we're going to work on our lining. This is part two. So I have finished the bag, and if you look inside, it looks really cool. I've uh, sweeped in all my ends, and I am ready to cut out my fabric for my lining. So what you're gonna wanna do is get your fabric and fold it at the bottom to where it's, this is real scientific, let me tell you. <laughs> This is how I do all my lining of my bags. I set my bag on top, and then I just kind of eyeball it. Um, so I want it to be about an inch, and here's where I'm looking. You want it to be about an inch hangover. So uh, actually, yeah, almost right at it. So an inch um, on each side is where you want to cut, and you want to have about, mm, half inch probably to an inch at the top. You don't need a lot of excess or you're gonna have to cut it off anyways. One thing I do recommend is to set your zipper down and make sure that you're cutting to where you don't have, you're not too short. Because when you open the bag, you don't wanna see a seam. You don't wanna see a hole. So if, if you cut it too short, you know, you're going to have to actually shorten your zipper. Or it's not going to look right. So that's another way I eyeball it. So you're just going to cut. It does not have to be perfect because none of this is going to be showing. So there you have that. And then I'm going to cut across this top line here. I told you it was really scientific. I'm a perfectionist, but I'm a perfectionist on the things that matter. This kind of crap don't matter. You like my English there? Okay, so now I'm going to take it to my ironing board and iron this because it looks horrible. Okay, so I'll meet you back here when you have your piece ironed. Okay, so you should have a freshly ironed piece of fabric. Um, so now take the right side and flip it over to where the wrong side is facing you. Take your zipper and open it. Now you're going to flip your zipper upside down like that. Okay? Now we are going to pin the fabric to this top lip of the zipper. So get your straight pins. And you're gonna just eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't want it to be, you know, to where there's a gaping hole at the bottom. Keep your zipper open, that's important. All right, so now you're gonna pick it up and line up the fabric to the zipper and start pinning to just to the top lip, not to anything else. It's kind of challenging because there's not a lot of fabric to work with but you got it, you can do it. I don't pin a ton, cause you're just gonna have to turn around and take them out. You just want it to hold still. All right. And of course, it goes without saying, for this fabric, I use white. Okay, and you are not going to close your zipper. Obviously you can't. You are going to take this to your sewing machine, or if you're sewing by hand, and you're going to sew down the middle all the way down, okay? I'm gonna do my best to catch it on video, but um, I'm a little challenged when it comes to technology, so if I don't get it right, um, just use your nice little imagination here. <laughs> Oh, sorry, you're gonna need your zipper fit. That was the regular foot. Um, you're going to basically line your zipper foot up with the center here, and you're gonna pull out your pins as you go. So you're just gonna sew, 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 all the way down the imaginary line in the center here. And then you're just gonna pull out your pins as you go and make sure you do a back stitch. Um, and then we'll meet you back here. Okay, I think I got it figured out to where I can get it on video for you. Okay, so um, this is the zipper foot that I have attached here. You're just going to begin 
just kind of eyeball it. It's not a big deal if you don't get it perfect. You don't want to get too close to the zipper part because if you do, you're going to not be able to open the bag or it's going to get caught um, on your crocheted piece. So you do want to try and get in the center of your zipper. Um, but it's not got to be perfect, you know. I'm just really guessing here. So take your pins out as you go. I, it, this is one of those cheap zippers. So it's kind of doing its own thing because it's real flimsy. If you get a better quality zipper, it stays put a lot better. Okay, and then just go backwards. Make sure you do a back stitch. And then you're going to cut your thread and pull it off. And this is what you should see. And you can close your zipper. And then what I would do and what I'm going to do is go to my iron and iron this down to where it's a nice flat seam there. So we'll meet back in just a minute. Okay, I didn't wanna move the camera too much, so I just pushed the machine back. So here's the inside of the bag and the piece that we just did, I ironed that side flat. So now what you're gonna do is come down to your bottom here and pull it to the top. So your good side or your right side is facing you. Your zipper is back to being upside down and you're gonna take your bottom and flip it to the top. And you kind of want to make sure your selvages meet. Like your selvage edge, however you want to call it. I'm not, I'm not a seamstress, I don't know. So that your bag isn't super crooked. And this time we are going to pin to this lip up here. And this time, uh, the, different, the main difference is your zipper is closed. So I'm taking and I'm pinning kind of random. Now, because I am not that great at cutting in a straight edge, you'll see I have excess. That's why I say line up your selvage edge, which is the edge that they cut in the store like before they packaged it, the company that sold it. So it's more accurate than my eyeballing it was. Okay, so now you have it pinned down this way. And we are going to sew down the imaginary middle line on this side. So I'm gonna pull the machine closer so you can hopefully see. And we're going to set the foot down on about the beginning there. And just like before, take your pins out as you go. Try not to get too close to the zipper that your crochet piece doesn't get caught when you're unzipping your bag. And then make sure at the end you do a back stitch. So you don't want this booger come apart. Thread. Okay, now what I advise you to do, push this back, is open your bag and now we've ironed this side. You see how nice that looks. This side is popping out and not very smooth. So what I'm going to be doing is ironing this flat here, okay? So I'll meet you back. Okay. So I'm back from ironing and making sure both sides look very nice. So now we are going to close the bag on the sides here. And you will want to remove your zipper foot. And pull it back to where you can see. And put a regular sewing foot on your machine if you're using a sewing machine. Well, and of course, because I'm recording, I. There we go. So what I do now is 
I kind of just feel it. So line up your edges by the way it feels. You don't want it to be cockeyed to where, you know, when you sew it up, it, it does it janky. So you just kind of tug to where these are even and you'll be able to kind of feel it too. And then flatten your piece out and make sure it's real good and smooth. If you want to start with a selvage in, that might actually be the best because you know that's straight. So just point them together, push them together, and then follow that selvage edge down. And there you have it. And sorry, there you have it. So what I'm gonna do now that I have it lined up, and if you're sewing by hand, I'm, I'm just sewing in like a quarter inch or whatever. Um, <laughs> like I said, I'm not a seamstress, so I don't really know the terminology, but I think it's just a quarter of an inch seam allowance, and I'm going to sew up the side. And when I get to the zipper, I'm going to push it down as flat as I can. And then I'm gonna sorta kinda pick my foot up with my finger, just barely. Cause you don't wanna, you know, make it stop. But I want that foot to go over the top of my zipper to where I can get my stitches as close to that zipper as possible. Cause I don't want a hole. I don't want somebody to put an item in there and it slide into the, never, the abyss between the lining and the bag. And then I'm gonna do a back stitch. And then I'm gonna pick that foot up so that it goes right back towards the seam or the uh, zipper there. And then I'm gonna cut. And I always cut off these little threads because it drives me nuts. I can't stand it. It's like a wild hair. Um, so you will see on your bag, and I'll show you. I'm gonna cut all these little wild hairs off and push this back. Okay, now when you open, this is the side that we just sewed shut. When you open your bag, you should not see a hole. You know, it should be solid there, okay? So that's real important. If you didn't get as close to that zipper as you can, go back over it because you don't want a hole there, trust me. I've had it happen. <laughs> um, and then you're pretty well just going to flatten the piece there because you've got this the selvage edge straight so you know that this side is straight now and you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side so give yourself about a quarter seam allowance and sew up that side seam now this side is more unique in that i open the zipper a little to get rid of that bulk there and I lay it as flat as possible once I get closer to the zipper and then I kind of push up on the foot so that I can get right to that zipper lip there. Do yourself a back stitch, pick up your foot and cut. And that is it as far as the sewing part goes. You have sewn your bag um, completely, your lining, I should say, to where now it should be good to go. Oh, sorry. It should be good to go. And here's where it gets a little tricky. <laughs> this is a technique that I made um, kind of myself as far as uh, the tacky way that I do it, I guess. I don't know how tacky it is, but it's not perfect. Um, so I'm going to pause the video and restart it because I want to set up my camera a little bit differently. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 